Tonight we're going to take a look at order of operations once again, and this time we had a request for a problem. It was sent to me on the comments page, uh, so thank you for that. Thanks for um, the suggestion for this lesson. And here it is, 6 divided by 2 times 1 plus 3, and what would that equal? Well, this is a classic order of operations problem, and I'd like to write it a couple different ways. Whenever you see 6 divided by, and then there's other operations and parentheses that follow, you can always think of that as a fraction. So I'm going to write it as a fraction first, so we've got 6 divided by, because really any fraction uh, can be read as a division problem. So we've got 6 divided by 2, and in parentheses we have 1 plus 3. Great problem. I love it. You can write it this way, or, you know, it, it'll lend itself more easily to the order of operation steps if you write it horizontally. So I'm just going to write 6 divided by 2, and then we have parentheses 1 plus 3. So we're going to kind of evaluate this and try to solve this, and which is, you know, keep in mind it is the same as this. So we'll revisit the order of operation steps. And let me just back up just a second. And here we go. Order of operation steps, we have We have parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. And, you know, some of us remember, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. There's a lot of talk on the Internet about uh, that PEMDAS is wrong or PEMDAS is wrong. It's not wrong if you really do it correctly. Now, we have these different levels of operations. We have parentheses up here, which includes parentheses, brackets, and braces. Fortunately, in this problem, we just have parentheses and handle those inside to out. Then on the next level of order of, op of operations, we have exponents, followed by multiplication and division, which are on the same level, and you handle these left to right. Then we have, on the lowest level of order of operations, we have addition and subtraction, and those are handled left to right as well. So if you look over to this problem and you scan through it, you're going to see up here parentheses. So I'm going to highlight those with red so they kind of stand out for you. And we're going to handle what's inside those parentheses first. So we have 1 plus 3. And I bet you're thinking that's 4. Uh-huh. Good for you. So that's 4. Okay. And we're going to rewrite the rest of the problem. So we have 6 divided by 2 came before that. All right, we've handled the parentheses over here. We took care of those parentheses. We don't have any brackets or braces, so now we can move on to exponents. You know, fortunately, inside these parentheses, we had only one operation. I mean, there could be several. There could even be brackets and, and division and multiplication and, and all mixed in. But in, like I said, in this case, we have just one operation, and it's 1 plus 3. We solved that. That was 4. We evaluated that. So now we'll go on to exponents. Do we see any exponents in here? 6 divided by 2 times 4. Nope. Okay, so we can pass over the exponents level of order of operations. And then we'll move on to multiplication and division. Well, I do see multiplication, and I do see division. So how do we handle these? What comes first? Well, this down here really is a guide. We handle these left to right. So let's do that. What appears first? Well, look at that. Division is right there. So we're going to do that division step next. So we'll solve this. 6 divided by 2. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, I know 2 times 3 is 6, so 6 divided by 2 is 3. Great, you're right, it would be. So that is 3, and we're left with 3 parentheses 4. Now, what in the world do you do there? There's no symbol there. Well, you know, we've seen in other posts before that if there's no symbol outside of this 
these set of parentheses, then you assume that it's multiplication. So I'm just going to rewrite that again. And that'll be 3 times 4. And you can see we're pretty close to being done here. We just have one operation left, and that's multiplication. And there's no addition and subtraction left. We handled that already. And because it was inside the parentheses, we did that earlier. Now we'll just evaluate this. 3 times 4. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what's 3 times 4? I mean, you could solve that. Uh, hopefully, you're, you're well uh, versed at your math multiplication facts, and it would be 3 times 4 is 12. So if you're thinking that, good for you. And there, we have solved this problem. And the solution is here. 12 is your solution. So once again, uh, that was a great request, great problem. Thanks for sending it in. And um, if you have any other requests out there, please feel free to send them to me. Um, and so thanks for checking out Mr. Marinick's EduBlog and the Marinick Video channel on YouTube. And we'll see you again next time.